Hello, and welcome to my interpersonal communication project for HSER 508, Studies in Interpersonal Communication. My name is Julie Ann Coss. I'm a student at Liberty University Online, and throughout this video, I will be guiding you through a presentation all about, you guessed it, me. Now, when you hear me say the word click, you should click to the next slide so that the presentation keeps up with the video. Okay, are you ready for the first one? Click! Throughout this course, I have realized the overarching goal of self-acceptance. You might be asking, why self-acceptance, or how did you come up with that goal? Well, you see, when I began the class, I had to take a couple of assessments. And while one said I was a great listener, the other said I wasn't that great of a communicator. Well, let me be a little more specific. I was identified as an SC, or a passive people-oriented person. And for lack of better words, I had been listening to others, but when it came time for someone to listen to me, I often placed myself on the back burner. Then through a reading in the course textbooks, I realized that in order to enlarge the conversation, I'd have to take myself off that back burner by identifying a specific need. And like Stuart said, in order to build relationships, you must accept yourself. I had identified a need, added some intentional resourcing, and would be able to enlarge the conversation. And for those of you that might not know, the definition of enlarging the conversation is identified need plus intentional resourcing equals enlarging the conversation. Click. All of this might have some of you thinking, well, how did you end up not accepting yourself? Well, you see, growing up, I was engaged in what Burley Allen called the rescuer-victim relationship with a lot of influential people. When I try to open up and share how I felt, people would often cut me off and try to give me advice. I got locked into this pattern, and eventually I just gave up trying to express myself, and I felt that it really wasn't worth it. As Crocker pointed out, I had been utilizing the contingency of family approval in building up my self-image. Well, this was hard for me to express myself, there is an upside. I am a great listener. Click. Now for some, it might seem like an easy journey to self-acceptance, but there are some potential barriers. For one, I have a really hard time accepting praise. Someone can give me a compliment, and rather than simply accepting it by saying thank you, I try to explain away what I accomplished. For example, someone can say, you have wonderful children. And I'd say, well, they aren't always as well behaved. Another potential barrier is my confusion between praise and pride. Over the years, I've tried very hard not to become prideful. Because as it says in Proverbs, when pride comes, then comes disgrace. But with humility comes wisdom. And I want to always present myself to the Lord as a humble servant. I think that by my not wanting to become prideful, I pushed away any praise that I've received. Talk about some faulty thinking. A third potential barrier is what I have allowed to happen when someone changes the subject, as I've been trying to share. You see, I just allow it to happen. I turn off my thoughts and quickly morph into the listener role. I realize that by doing that, I've built up walls around me and simply stopped sharing, and I want to correct this now because, as Peterson pointed out, those who don't listen to us eventually become those who used to matter to us, and I certainly don't want that to happen. Click. Another name for those potential barriers is noise pollution. They serve as broken records that I play over and over again in my head, clouding up my thoughts and casting self-doubt that leaves me feeling unworthy. Some of the broken records that I've allowed to play are what he has to say is more important. I can wait until later to tell her how I feel, or right now just isn't a good time. Perhaps a bit of cognitive therapy would help me with this. As Manus, Waite, and Seraphim illustrated, it does work. As soon as I hear one of those broken records playing, I need to take the needle off the record. For example, when I'm interrupted and tell myself, I can wait till later, I need to take the needle off and remind myself that I'm in the talker role and that what I have to say is important because, after all, I do matter. 
click. Now, how do I plan to reach my overarching goal to improve my interpersonal communication skills so that I will be inviting others to join the conversation? Baby steps. After all, we have to learn to walk before we can run, right? I plan to talk about me bit by bit, piece by piece, and allow others to share in my accomplishments. I plan to say thank you when someone gives me a compliment and plan to continue to thank God for allowing me to make those accomplishments. Yeah, this might sound cheesy, but for me, each of these steps will lead me to be able to accept myself for me. This type of self-acceptance will lead me to be able to self-disclose, which in turn will allow others the opportunity to join in on the conversation. And you might ask, what if there's resistance or what if conflict comes about while I'm trying to accomplish this? Well, it's then at that point that I plan to share what I've learned in this class with others. I plan to give them the fair opportunity I've been afforded in this class and to help them take the journey that I have in order to reach a higher level of self-awareness so that they too can build the interpersonal communication skills needed for every human relationship. Thank you and have a blessed day. Hello and welcome to my interpersonal communication project for HSER 508, Studies in Interpersonal Communication. My name is Julie Ann Koss. I'm a student at Liberty University Online and throughout this video I will be guiding you through a presentation all about, you guessed it, me. Now, when you hear me say the word click, you should click to the next slide so that the presentation keeps up with the video. Okay, are you ready for the first one? Click! <laughs>